3.57 a.m. 25 grams of protein and then oxygen. Okay, so I just got out of the gym. It is now 6.20 a.m. I'm feeling awake now. Now I spent about an hour, hour and a half working out. I feel a lot better. Um, actually an hour and 15 minutes. I did 20 minutes of cardio and I did back today with some push-ups. Um, so when I'm done with the workout, typically what I do is try to keep things very, very plain and simple. I don't add fat to this meal. I simply add protein and carbohydrates. And I constantly mix this up and I switch the macronutrients on this. But what I'm drinking right now is 30 grams of protein. This is a whey protein isolate. Uh, I try to use a natural form whey protein isolate. And I'm going to have this. A bowl of grits. This is one of the most simplistic, easy things to make. I'll make a recipe on how to make grits or quick grits, but this literally took me about five minutes to make. It is about 90 grams of carbohydrates. There's minimal fat and maybe one gram that just naturally comes within the corn. And there's nothing more simple than this. It's basically just ground, milled, dried corn and water heated. And then I just add a little bit of stevia for sweetness. It's actually delicious. I'm going to eat again in about an hour, hour and a half. So this is my post-workout meal. And then I'll eat again in about one hour. All right, so it's 7.30 a.m., uh, back from the gym, showered, ready to go to work. Before I go to work, here's my next meal. I'm eating about 25 grams of protein, which is a little over a cup of Greek yogurt. I've added to that cow cow nibs. And... Real quick, just so you can see what cow cow nibs are. Cow cow nibs are raw chocolate pieces. And, you know, I think if you're eating them in moderation, meaning less than like a couple grams a day, you should be okay. A lot of it does have a lot of caffeine. If you eat too much of it, there's actually um, a substance in there that creates, they say, a neurological dysfunction of sorts. I haven't had that problem. I love them. They're high in antioxidants. They're a raw food. I add them to my yogurt. I'm also going to add a little bit of walnuts. These are raw walnuts loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. So I'm going to add that to my meal as well. Uh, probably a little bit less than an ounce, which is probably about 15 grams of fat or so. I'm going to add a little bit of stevia to this as well. And I'm going to mix this up. So I'm going to also eat this. This is dandelion greens, ginger pieces, cilantro, um, a little bit of carrots, and a radish. And then for my dessert... I have about two and a half cups of cantaloupe, and this is fresh, ripe cantaloupe. Now remember, this is my post-workout meal number two, and then I'll eat again probably in a couple hours at work, so I'll show you soon what I'm eating next. Okay, so it's 10, 15 a.m. I'm eating my next meal. Um, this is what I brought. I have about four ounces of turkey in a turkey burger. Um, and I previously cooked this. If you'd like, go to my turkey burger recipe video. You can see how I make these turkey burgers. Uh, once again, I have more of my dandelion greens with a radish, uh, some uh, carrots, also some cilantro and parsley. Um, I'll eat this as my green vegetables. There's also a little piece of ginger in here, raw ginger. And then for dessert, I'm going to have a mixture of Concord grapes and red grapes. Um, these are both organic, so I'm going to eat that as well. As well as I'm going to follow up with about a half an ounce of... Uh, raw walnut. So that's my next meal here at 1015. I'll see you guys for the next meal. Okay, so here we are. It's about a quarter after three. Next meal, I'm going to have another bag of vegetables we talked about. This is dandelion greens, cilantro with parsley, and the carrots. And here I've mixed about two-thirds cups of oats with about 25 grams of whey protein. I have raw pumpkin seeds in here and a couple grams of cow cow nibs as well. So this is my next meal to hold me over until dinner. Okay, so it's now 6.30 p.m. This is going to be my final meal of the day. Um, I've been up since 4 o'clock in the morning, kind of tired, but I wanted to make sure I go through what I ate throughout the day. Um, this last and final meal, I ate a little bit of raw zucchini and I cooked the rest of the zucchini. And then what I did is I put some pasta sauce on here and I cooked up six egg whites with one yolk in it and I put that on top. Uh, so that's gonna be my dinner right there. And then to finish it off, what I'm gonna have is I actually bought some uh, really delicious peaches. These are organic peaches. So I'm gonna have two peaches for dessert afterwards. You know, typically what I try to do is try to get like 25 grams of protein per meal. Um, depending what time of the day it is and what activity level, I try to make sure I get quality carbohydrates between 50 and 70 grams, maybe a little bit lower or less, and I try to get between 5 and 15 grams of fat in each meal. So I think 
getting all three of the macronutrients in each meal and making sure that I eat small frequent meals throughout the day has been very, very helpful in me being able to maintain my weight and being able to keep the fat off. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed what I ate today and I'll put up more videos soon of uh, what I eat and some recipes there too. Hope you guys have a great day.